Alright, so today we actually have quite a few more variables than we did have in the last two tutorials, but we kind of need them, uh, because today I'm going to teach you uh, operators, right? So, you can see I have A equal to 1, B equal to 2, and C equal to nothing, and we're going to print out C, so let's go ahead and print out C, it equals nothing because A and B do not affect C. In fact, A and B aren't even being used, that's why they're underlined, under, uh, underlined in yellow. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna give we're gonna use a and b and we're gonna you know actually give c something like this. It would make logical sense if, like in algebra, you could multiply uh, sorry, add a and b, and then equal that to c. But that that's wrong. <laughs> Why is that wrong? Because if you think about it mathematically, that's essentially uh, you know one plus two equals zero. That, that's what we've just written. That's wrong, right? So instead it's like, okay, we're going to set C a new value of this, okay? So now C should equal 3, because as far as I know, 1 plus 2 is 3, and there we have it. What else can we do? We can subtract, and this will create minus 1. Yep, there we go. We can multiply, and that will create 2. Yep. And we can divide, and that should make 0.5. Oh. Ah, right, because it's an int, right? Yeah. That's fine. Um, we can also even do this. Now watch. <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff. Alright, so we don't need A and B anymore. Bye-bye. So what does this do? Ah, it adds it by one. Nice. Yeah. That just adds one to the value. Increments it by one. Oh, for Christ's sakes. There we go. And there we go, it, it works fine. And we can even do that. There we go, and it's back to 1. That's because Java works in order. It added 1, so C is now equal to 1. C is now equal to 2. Now it minuses 1, so C now is, is now equal to my, uh, sorry 1. And then it minuses another one that's equal to 0. So, let me go through it again. 0. 1. 2. 1. 0. Zero. All right. All right. All right. So now C is equal to two, but I want to make it nine. How would I do that? Well, simply C equals C plus nine. Uh, sorry, C plus seven. That will bring the total to nine. Always remember your uh, semicolons. So how does that happen? C plus a C. The new C equals the old C, which is two plus seven. So that's nine. Right. Awesome. There is a quick way to do this. That is essentially the same as that. And it works for minus as well. So that should equal minus 5. Yep. And again. Minus 5. Sweet. And hell. It even works for multiplication. There we have it. Another short tutorial. But a lot of knowledge. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.